Hey guys, today's July 13th, 2011, and you're watching NYC Forever, baby. It's good for your brain. Picture this, April 1st, 2000, I arrive in New York City. Yo, what the fuck? I have but one dream. To be a rubber star. What the fuck? I was young and naive and had a care in the world. That's it. And since then, I've been on dozens of auditions. Next up is Albert... J Albert Sinclair. That's me. Next. I was crushed. Whatever should I do? Turn around and run away and forget that my dreams had never existed? No. I was gonna stand up for what I came for. That every red-blooded male in this country has to sing and dance. And that's what I did. Just joking. I never made it. Calm down, calm down. I did act once. Act a fool. Oh my god, that looked like I was giving myself a breast exam. So enough about the beginning story of Albert J. Sinclair. We're not going to talk about that today. What we are going to talk about is... Things to do in New York. People need a job. Such as... Waiter, actor, vlogger, personal escort, and many, many more. Don't be a personal escort. They don't make a lot of money. So what makes a New Yorker, some of you might ask? Well, always living in a different apartment, week after week. Homeless people, week after week. Different jobs, week after week. So what's good about living in New York? This. Thank you again for watching NYC Forever, baby. Comments or questions, please put them in the little doobly-doo and thumbs me up. Always remember to thumbs me up. Always remember to thumbs me up. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you Friday.